you see the pretty girl and after years upon years of sexual frustration you finally garner the courage to go up and speak to her. My name's Sam. I just wanted to come over and say you're really pretty. She gives you a shrew thanks while looking away and then she tells you that she's in a bit of a rush and she has to get going. You ask her for a WhatsApp number before she leaves and she punches her number into your phone. Later on, you go to send her a message on WhatsApp and she gave you a false number. Damn. I've been there, bro. I'm gonna tell you a story about one of my uh, most painful cold approaches. So I was on a jury in a court case and there was this cute girl who was actually on the jury with me. And this was quite a long case. This was like two months long. So I had spent about a month and a half on the same court case with this girl. And every time I saw her, I was like getting more and more attracted to her. But the problem was I just could not muster up the courage to, to speak to her. We had a few interactions, but it was always like not direct. It wasn't me talking one-to-one -one with her. And I remember this being so frustrating and every time I'd come home and jump into a Discord call with my friend Hamza and I'd tell him about it and I'd just be kicking myself like, God damn it, I didn't speak to her again. When am I gonna grow the balls to talk to this girl, man? <laughs> Until one day I had finally had enough. We were leaving the court around about the same time. She was walking behind me. <sighs> Took a deep breath, turned around. Excuse me, I was just wondering like if you wanted to get lunch with me tomorrow. Lunch? Yeah, like you wanna get lunch with me tomorrow. No, no thank you. And then she walks away. <laughs> oh man, it's so painful. But you know what? At least I spoke to the girl. However, I did get pretty brutally rejected. I remember as she was walking away, I literally let out a noise because it was just so embarrassing. What went wrong? In my opinion, the reason I got rejected by that girl is I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here. I'm not gonna like, you know, drag this video out into a 40 minute long fucking ramble. I got rejected by that girl because I simply just wasn't comfortable in my own skin yet. And I might be wrong, but I think this might be the biggest reason why a lot of men continue to get rejected to this day. They're not quite comfortable in their own skins just yet. And women can really sense that in a man. You know, women have this very incredible ability to read a man. Because if you think about it, she had to develop this ability through the years upon years upon years of being a woman. Generally speaking, being a woman means that you have to be codependent on a man. And in a lot of senses, that's also true for men. We are dependent on women to obviously continue our bloodline. But like to live, women had to be codependent on men. So they had to acquire the ability of uh, smelling out shit. Women want a leader. Women want a man who is sure of himself. And they can definitely smell through a fake persona. And they can certainly see when a man has had to muster up the courage to just speak to her in that way. It was so obvious, like the way I spoke, how long I had left it to speak to her, that I was not comfortable in my own skin. And it took me so much courage to just ask her to go to lunch with me. Let me ask you this. Are you genuinely comfortable in your own skin? Like genuinely? Outside of the online tough guy persona you might give yourself, which I know some people do that, they make this like false character of themselves online to project into the world when in reality, they're just really fucking uncomfortable with who they are. And if that's you, bro, you don't have to put on a fake persona here, okay? We're all here to grow. We're all here to learn. When you look at yourself in the mirror, are you comfortable with the man you are now? If not, that's totally fine. You know, that's something we can work on. But until we've improved this, you might find it really difficult to actually get a woman to begin liking you. Because once again, they can really see through when someone isn't comfortable in their own skin yet. When they're not built themselves into the man that they want to be. They've built that confidence. They're running a successful business. They're building the body. They have a great network of friends. They have value to offer to a woman. The problem is a lot of men in this scenario, they look for quick fixes online. You know, they look for like red pill strategies on how to attract women. The right words to say, top three uh, cold approach lines with high success rates. What's the best aftershave that I have to wear or whatever. All this like really autistic 1% stuff. When the reality is the 80% which a lot of men, they just don't really want to acknowledge because it takes time and it's much harder is that they need to just become more comfortable in their own skin. I had a really, really hard time and a really, really long period of time when 
where I just wasn't comfortable in my own skin. I didn't like who I was. And it's only when I started to update my self-esteem or I started to actually garner success with women. This is the major thing that a lot of men are missing. Do you genuinely believe that you are worthy of a woman's devotion and love and her attention? Are you worthy of that lunch date? Because if you believe that you're not, she's not gonna go on that date with you, bro. That's why you're getting rejected. And obviously, there's a lot of different reasons why you might get rejected. Maybe they have a boyfriend, obviously. Maybe it's something like your breath smells, right? But in my opinion, the fact that you're not comfortable in your own skin is the biggest reason why most men find themselves getting rejected more often than not. And frankly, if you were comfortable in your own skin, would you be rolling around with smelly breath? You probably wouldn't. So it's kind of like an umbrella reason. Like if you're comfortable in your own skin, everything else comes together. But the good news is, if this is you and you find yourself getting rejected by women more often than not, and you're willing to admit that you're not quite comfortable yet in your own skin, which if you are, willing to admit that well done because that's step zero to actually growing as a man the good news is you can build upon this and i don't have a romantic answer for you i don't have the line or the fucking fragrance that you need to wear to start attracting women into your life i'm sorry anyone who sells you those solutions are selling you snake oil okay the main thing is you need to become more comfortable in your own skin this means becoming a man who is capable in multiple areas of life okay it's no good getting into the gym and getting really big and obsessing over that but then having really bad social social skills, for example. It's no good making a bunch of money, but still being a skinny fat geek, okay? This is why I advocate for leveling up multiple areas of your life. A great start point is certainly the gym, but while you're in a gym, bro, level up your social skills at the same time. The amount of like gym sales that I see who just go to the gym, they're gym rats. They're watching like every daily Sam Sulek video, but they have like the worst social skills ever. They have zero eye contact. Why? You're in a social environment in a gym. Why don't you just level up your social skills there? I actually made a video on how to do exactly that which you can check out in the card up here or up here it's one of those two i can't figure out which one right now but start there man honestly start there and you'll find that you'll be surprised how quickly you can actually start accumulating some positive results. And once you start rolling that snowball, you'll find yourself in a positive feedback loop and perhaps one day, women won't constantly reject you. You have a lot of work to do, bro, and that's totally fine. You're in the right place. My name is Sam Harborn, and my goal is to help you escape the trenches so that you can live a lifestyle of freedom and abundance. If you want more of my free daily advice, click the subscribe button, get involved in the channel, drop a comment as well. And if you want more of my help, specifically with the financial side of things, you can check out the links in the description and I can teach you how to make money online from the comfort of your bedroom. I teach over 500 guys how to make money through video editing and as you can see by the results here, it's looking very good. Consider getting involved and take care, boys.